So that's a normal two month breastfed baby. Oh, look at the little podgy legs. <laughs> Loving the nappy. Looks huge, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> Baby's feet are towards the fire, bless. Baby's feet are towards the fire. I know why he said that. Because the house was probably absolutely bitter cold. And the oh. head would get overheated maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, that's true, yeah. Clean clothes, two washing clothes. Very regimented. The detail. <laughs> My mum had that with warm olive oil. Oh, it didn't even occur to me that God. I had olive oil in them days. Oh, yeah, but it wasn't used for drink, um, you know, putting in food. Oh, really medicinal. Yeah. Oh, and earaches. Right. Hips, wasn't it? For like, if you've got yeah. dry, dry scalp, scalp and things oh, like cradle yeah. pad. Yeah. It's like a procedure. It is, oh, isn't, isn't it? it? It wasn't in my house. No, it was all plastic ducks and things. Yes. Quite a good idea. Yes. I do that. Yeah. I used to do that. Put cold water in I've first. I've upset boiling water. How do you upset boiling water? Well, I suppose <laughs> you're carrying it around, aren't you, like that? You're not just pouring it out of a tap. Because probably in those days they didn't have hot water no, out of the tap. No, it was boiled, yeah. didn't yeah. it? Put it? Do it with a kettle. What the lava? And a metal bath it looks too. Now we have the hot. Yes. No bubbles, no oils. No. Just water. And Castile soap. soap. Yeah. Oh. See, I wouldn't have ever woken a sleeping child after no. the bath. Ever. Never. <laughs> no way. She's airing it all off. Because they didn't just have one little couple of blankets, it was oh. chock a block no, full of blankets. They didn't have central and heating or something. No, did they? So the house so would have been tons really of stuff in, the in there. Baby grow. <laughs> Very wrapped up. But houses were absolutely bitter cold. That baby's got so many layers on. Yes. Gosh. 
Gone into the nappies, the baby grows and just the odd cardigan. Yeah. Look at those layers. It's amazing, isn't it? After and cleaned very well. Maybe they were. Very um, careful with them, weren't they? Yeah. Sort of, it goes against everything you sort of thought. It just I bet, it up I and bet a lot of people didn't do that though. I bet I by the time you were on your 13th baby, you whipped them in and out and just <laughs> hanging off your hips. They probably hardly <laughs> ever had a bath. Clean habits from birth. No. <laughs> How do you train a baby in clean habits? Uh -oh. What do I mean by train the baby in clean habits? Oh, oh, potty train. <laughs> oh, little potty. Oh, I see. So we're going to train the potty. Oh, I don't know. So a bit of potty training before the bath, having been woken up. Yes. Yes. Good old fashioned. Yep. You can't go wrong with the elbow. I think it's the scariest thing, bathing a baby at first. God, it's terrifying. Is it? <laughs> yeah, you're just so frightened that you, the baby will slip or you'll drop it or I don't know, it's really scary. funny when you've got your baby it is maybe it's a kind of animal instinctive type thing you do pick and clean and be you nice know, sort of I can see the temptation of trying to get every last bit out <laughs> I suppose when they, people had lots of children, they could have two or three that were still baby babies, really. So the temptation would have been just to get a damp cloth and just sort of wipe the whole lot, I suppose. Flailing arms. Yeah. Because you're because they swaddle, don't they? Swaddle them first. Oh no, that would worry me. I'd be like, oh my gosh, she's got him. She's got him. Yeah. 
It's so much easier when you put them in the bath than yeah. doing Ooh. it. Oh, she's not doing it. Not happy. No. <laughs> Remember leaning them back over a bath. I can yes. still remember that bit. Yes. Doing their hair. Yeah. Meanwhile, the bath water's gone cold. That's, That's how you've done their face. That's it, isn't it? I wonder how many people with, you know, say two or three still babies looked at this and thought, how am I ever going to have the time to do all this? <laughs> see people watching this and thinking, where do they have the time to pay all this individual attention to one baby you know, when they've got baby after baby? So my great-grandma um, had 16, so you could think, you know, <laughs> how would she pay this much attention? Maybe she did, but... I, I don't remember using soap. No, but I don't think I did. I think I always had some, um, like, in for care yeah. stuff mm -hmm. to go in the bath. She's washing baby on her lap, which is why she's got the towel on her. I didn't wash my arm. No, no, I didn't. Maybe that's because we didn't use soap. Does anybody lift their baby by the ankles? Oh, why would you lift your baby by the ankles? <laughs> it's, it's really hard to work out how much is instinctive that you don't do to hurt your baby or put it in danger and how much of it is because of the uh, amount of sort of public um, um, public interest program, the public programs telling you how, what's safe, what's you know, cause instinct does play a role but it's difficult to work out what is instinctive and what's Imagine all the clothes she was putting on her are probably d feeling damp, even if it's just cold. Yeah, yeah, do, don't yeah. They? She's probably got on a, on a big um, thing over the fire. Well, when I first came out of hospital with Ellie, they used to say hair dry their bums. Oh, yeah, really? to, to get so them really dry. Especially if they were getting nappy rash. Oh. Just do a little bit of light hair drying. By the time my dad Robin, they've completely banned it. They said it caused infections. So I tell you, you have to do what you think's best. Don't listen to them. I think I used to lay them on the bed to dry them. 
I certainly state. never had anyone on, on a lap like that. No. Oh, it looks like a cardigan. Yeah, she's so putting that on first. Yeah, the side of a vest on. Yes. But then I don't suppose they had net vests like. Uh, I suppose a lot of it was hand knitted. Yes. These clothes are so different from what oh, I God, remember yeah. any of us having when we were little. Mm. All hand knitted. Mm. And I remember people buying jumpers and stuff from. Um, jumble sales to undo them for the wool to then knit something else they wanted to knit. Obviously, you have to use nappy pins, but how dangerous were they? Yeah, when you think about so. it. <laughs> She's just sort of wrapped that round like it's a. So that's just a cloth. It's a loincloth yeah, yeah. loin technique. It's a very bizarre way. She's put that nappy on. She's done it rectangularly. with overheating and they don't like Aww. health visitors don't like you oh, swaddling nice. because they do say it calms baby step well you know when they're sort of waving their arms and legs around they can't relax it, yeah, yeah that's I used to thought because she was so mm -hmm. sort of yeah, waving, yeah. and it just calmed her it's down. our fashion's mm. change isn't it if you did a baby up like that these days it would overheat in no time but then it's uh... gosh I wouldn't have liked to have had a baby 90 years ago that looks like Johnny hard work those layers. They, that goes to show no heating. Yes. I suppose it was really And you know, working. my mum has a thing about drafts. If you sit yes. in a draft, um, if you sit on cold neck. things, you get piles. Crit yes. neck if you sit in a draft. Yes, yeah. everything. Everything was blamed on a draft. Baby's a wiggler. No. <laughs> oh, she's going to put a pillow beside him. Okay. I don't know, you still, I've seen people even these days with all the safety warnings and everything putting their babies in the most crazy places. Well, maybe we do need telling all the time. <laughs> That's what I think my crib had in it. Oh, right. We didn't keep them in the crib for very long. No. <laughs> oh, soft, thick brown paper is used to replace the overheating waterproof sheet. They used brown paper a lot, didn't they? Did you watch that series? No, but my dad used to say if he ever had a chest infection, my grandma would always put um, goose fat. Yes, and then brown paper, brown paper around his chest. No, well, now we've got plastic now. Yeah. We've got barriers, but they didn't have it then, did they? No plastic. Okay. Maybe it's nearly at the top of that bed. Yeah, I know, nearly. Somebody, and then they'll envelope them up, they'll swaddle them so, so they can't, can't move. move. It looks a bit rickety. 
She's obviously wanting to put this baby on his side, isn't she? Mm. This is what yeah, she's, she's trying to do. Sort of position. You're not allowed to do that anymore, are you? Has it got to be back again? Is no. it back? Yeah, it is, yeah, is yeah. It, it used to be front. Back. What's wrong with the side now then? I think they they say they advise you to sleep the baby on their back oh. because of sudden cough death syndrome. Because that baby that is baby, just no they passed out now. <laughs> the baby's like just completely wrapped up, isn't it? <laughs> Because they used to think it was exercise for your lungs, didn't they? My mum used to cry. swear by sticking the pram down the garden. The exertion of the bath tires the baby. Okay, they have food. Mother craft. Gosh. So they did, they did make it Mother craft. It was yes. a craft, wasn't it? Yes. Doesn't look very contented. Maybe life was a lot calmer then. Mm.